Welcome to Control Risks Expert Insight. Today we're joined by Ryan Marvel. Ryan is partner in Control Risk to the Crisis and Securities Consulting Team. He oversees and manages Control Risk's embedded consulting services practice and is responsible for some of Control Risk's largest long-term managed service engagements in the crisis and security sector. In today's video, he's going to be sharing how best to get ahead of the pack to ensure business resumption during COVID-19. Over to you, Ryan. I mean, across all of our teams, whether it's an intelligence team, the GSOC, or really even across corporate security as a whole, I think the ones who are ahead of the pack right now are the ones who fully embraced their customer service and advisory roles in this moment. Uh, look, I know the temptation is there to provide global reports or generic company-wide messaging from the Intel apparatus, but really what good looks like to us right now today is really leaning in and using this as an opportunity to make a real connection with the internal stakeholders and figure out how these teams can leverage the existing tools to make their decisions easier. So for example, we have one major global banking client whose security leader has actually set up a dedicated team to work closely with the site leads for various high profile corporate assets around the world and getting daily updates on exactly what the trip wires will be for required telework from those sites. Uh, as well as office closures, and then determining what tools each day the Intel and the GSOC teams have in place to supply them with hyper-localized information. And this same client has kind of moved away from that standard global report that I think a lot of us on this call are probably becoming numb to, to seeing every day. And instead, they're kind of providing actionable data in an easy-to-digest dashboard using real-time badging data. So they're providing an idea of office population at any given moment. So imagine you're the leadership and you of an organization, you can look up at the screen and say, okay, we have 130 employees on site today in our Hamburg office, 62 in Berlin, and we just instituted our, or the, the government has just instituted a lockdown. So it's basically giving them real time information that they can make quick decisions on. And some of the more advanced teams uh, are, we're seeing provide that, you know, two to three times daily report on confirmed COVID cases, but they're doing it within a commuting distance to the offices. So it's not just a general blanket, um, you know, email or note that's going out. They're providing updates on relevant school and government closures, but again, within a commuting, a commutable distance to their sites so that it's actually even more relevant. So really, you know, they've shifted completely away from, in the security uh, apparatus in particular, the whole primary mission of just protecting the facility to actually helping enable informed and risk-based decisions in a timely fashion.